Hey everyone, I just watched a bunch of movies from Sundance Film Festival 2021, the COVID special. I got to see a bunch of movies from the comfort of my own home and I'll be talking about all of them, but first I'm gonna talk about the one that's actually going to be released pretty soon, and that is the film Judas and the Black Messiah. This is a film from director Shaka King starring Daniel Kaluuya, Lakeith Stanfield, Jesse Plemons, and Martin Sheen. Needless to say, this is a pretty great cast and the performances were all fantastic, especially with Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield. Both of them absolutely transformed into their characters with plenty of detail in their performances. The story for this film is also pretty great. This is a biopic where Daniel Kaluuya plays the chairman of the Illinois Black Panther Party, and Lakeith Stanfield plays an FBI informant. The story is very well paced. It wastes no time setting up the plot and conflict. The sequence of events are super tense and engaging. There's plenty of exhilarating and energetic drama. The characters in this film are very likable and watchable. There are parts of this film that are funny, and there are parts of this film that are emotionally brutal. It's a very entertaining story that is well complemented by the craftsmanship going into this film. The cinematography in this film is done by Sean Bobbitt, who has worked with my second favorite director, Steve McQueen, on every one of his feature films. The lighting and framing are both great, and everything looks insanely professional. The editing in this film is also great. This is a very well-directed film that has plenty of satisfying sequences, there are points of violence in the film that are very intense. All of the elements in this film come together really well. The film also has a great soundtrack, both in the track listing and the musical score. I really love the tone and energy of this film, and the music greatly adds to this. Although I do have one really weird criticism regarding the score specifically. There's a piano song in the film that has a very similar tone and feel to a song from the Wolf's Rain soundtrack. It was kind of strange just how similar this piano song in the film's soundtrack sounded to it about 26 seconds into the song Requiem from the Wolf's Rain soundtrack. I instantly recognized the similarities in the chords being played and the way that they were used, despite it technically not being the same song. But I didn't think too much of it because it was only a small portion of the song in the Wolf's Rain soundtrack. In this song Requiem, the piano is essentially just an intro to the medley of string instruments that comes shortly after. And the rest of the songs in the film's score sound pretty wildly different anyway. But as the film continued on, at about an hour and 10 minutes into it, they played the exact same piano song from the score again, except this time the song continues further and the piano leads into a medley of string instruments in almost the exact same way it was done in the Wolf's Rain soundtrack. Like either Requiem from the Wolf's Rain soundtrack was used as temp music and one of the two composers was told to make it sound like that, or one of the composers decided to do this on their own. That's my opinion anyway. The instrumentation, tone, feel, and experience experience of this song in the film's soundtrack is nearly identical to the Wolf's Rain soundtrack. The similarities in the piano section alone were already a little strange, and the similarities in the string section alone would also be pretty strange, but having both of those sections together in the same order in the same way makes it pretty difficult to imagine this was a coincidence. It's not like the way the string section was used in the Wolf's Rain soundtrack was some kind of obvious logical progression as a way to naturally continue the song. These two different sections of the song are so different from each other that they might as well be two completely different pieces of music, so it is a little weird that the score for this film follows this exact same idea when there is no logical reason why it should. Hmm, suspicious. Anyway, aside from that one song, the score sounded pretty great. It was just kind of distracting to be watching this movie and then all of a sudden being forced to think about an anime, and even ignoring how painstakingly obvious the derivative nature of parts of the score in this film are. That doesn't mean that the rest of the film was completely perfect. There are some minor issues I had with some parts feeling goofy or cliched or convenient, but still, this film overall was pretty fantastic. The achievements in this film far outweigh the flaws, and I'll definitely be checking out whatever this director makes next. It was a very entertaining and worthwhile experience that I thoroughly enjoyed, so check this one out when it becomes available on HBO Max February 12th. And I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. Going down and down and down and down and down and down and deeper I never go to sleep but I try to be a dreamer